this is just a quick video on my little 50 watt solar backup setup. This is a Renogy 50 watt panel. Puts about 17 volts out, oh, no, about 20 volts open circuit. I know this isn't the best location, but it gets enough sun for what I use it for charging cell phones and stuff. It has uh, those MC4 connectors that come down into what is a PC case. On the top I have a 5 volt USB power regulator as a built in multimeter and a 220 watt peak yeah, DC to AC power inverter. About uh, It'll handle 120 watts continuous. I got this for like 5 bucks at Walmart so I can't complain how it performs. It does a pretty good job. It has another USB connection on it. It's one of those horrible universal plugs though that all the plugs want to fall out of. <clears throat> okay, on the inside here, I have the solar panel coming in with the uh, way oversized wiring. This is like, uh, what is it, 10 gauge, I think? Yeah, 10 gauge. And it comes into this uh, 10 amp charge controller. This is about 10 bucks at Walmart. I just get the parts wherever I can get them cheapest for this. And they're connected up to these batteries. It charges these two, uh, these two scooter, 12 volt scooter batteries. They've seen a lot better days. This one right here feels pretty cool, but this one feels almost hot. So this one has a pretty high internal resistance. It'd probably work better if I just completely took this out and only ran it on one battery. But <clears throat> yeah, it's just wasting most of the power it's taking in from heat even though it's only at 13.5 volts right now. I have the positive here, it's uh, kind of uh, makeshift wiring, but it works. When I get better batteries, I'll wire it up better. I have my negative here, and I ran a black wire, so I had to use a red wire for my negative on this. This goes to the power inverters. I connect it up to a breaker, so if it pulls more than 20 amps, it blows the breaker. And then the positive goes straight into the inverter. And then these two, uh, what are speaker wires, I have it fused temporarily like that with the with uh, 5 amp fuse, I think. Uh, no, it's a 20 amp fuse, but I should put a 5 amp in there. That goes up to the 5 volt regulator. This will do 3 amps at 5 volts. It has a USB connection and you can also connect up wires up for a 5 volt output. Which I did do and they're wired to the USB connections in the front of the case. And uh, I was I did have a switch connected to this so I could leave the inverter just plugged into the breaker because I don't want it to pull any power when it's just sitting here. But uh, all the switches I had, none of them could take 10 amps or more, so I'm going to have to find a switch somewhere that will take 10 amps. But uh, yeah, I'll probably do more videos on this when I do a less makeshift setup. This will, uh, right now this will this will charge up my little Chromebook. It'll uh, let me see if this will focus here. It'll charge up my Chromebook. It'll uh, power my router and uh, and uh, my modem. It'll charge phones and stuff. Just little things. But I really do need better batteries. These are pretty much toast. Thanks for watching. Uh, maybe I'll do some more videos on this kind of stuff later if anyone's interested.